Sarah with the happy hootie. Tis the season for our favorite friend, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes love me. I can walk outside and within minutes, I will be bit everywhere. So in the past years, we've bought these Spartan mosquito eradicators and you can get them from Amazon for four of them for about 40 bucks. We can put the link below for that if you wanna just go ahead and buy these. We kept these from last year and looked up a recipe online from Bob Vila Vila. And he says, you can actually make your own and save yourself 40 bucks. So we're gonna show you how to do that today. I've already made quite a few because I have, we're on about six and a half acres here. So we need quite a few of these to mark around the property. You don't wanna get them real close to your house because what it does is it actually attracts the mosquitoes. So if you put them close to your house, you're just attracting mosquitoes to you. The ingredients are so simple on this product and it will cost so much less to do. So that's why I'm gonna do it for my yard. What it calls for is sugar, warm water, and yeast. According to Bob Vila, you take a cup of warm water and you dissolve a fourth of a cup of sugar in it. You wait till it dissolves and then you add a gram of yeast, which is about a fourth a teaspoon. So a little bit less than a fourth of a teaspoon. Let's go ahead and make one up. I've got my warm water. This size is actually enough to do two cups worth. So I am doubling my batch. Add my half of a cup of sugar since it is doubled. It would help if you had a funnel. I opted to not walk inside and get a funnel. So I'm gonna have a little bit of spillage, but that's all right, you're outside. And then once this is in there, you can stir it around a little bit, make sure that that gets dissolved. And then you just need to let it sit for a little while so it can actually make like a syrup. I have my yeast I got from Sam's because I knew I was going to be using quite a lot of it. So just a cheaper way is to buy it in bulk because you will go through it quickly through here. I'm going to take out my measuring spoon. Again, I'm doubling the recipe. So this is going to be a half a teaspoon of yeast. And I am just going to go through and put it in each one of these. And then we're going to shake it up and seal it. If you don't happen to have the leftover mosquito eradicator bottles, no worries. You can actually just use a two liter bottle and make your own. How to do that, you take the bottle and around the halfway point, we're gonna cut it. I'm going to mix up my water and sugar just like I did before. And then once that dissolves, we will put our yeast in and we'll add the lid on. I'll show you how to do that. My sugar is now settled. And if you can look in here, you can actually see you can no longer see the sugar. So that's how you know when it's been dissolved. We'll add in our yeast. Got my half a teaspoon with my double batch. And then we kind of shake that up. Or if you've got it this big, you can just get a spoon and stir it up as well. Or use your fingers. And what this does, it creates a carbon dioxide and that is what attracts the mosquitoes. So they are going to come to this because they want to have it. They crawl in here and they die. So you no longer have mosquitoes. We've done this eradicators for a few years on our property and it has helped so much. So finish this part out, take the other end, take the lid off the bottle and you shove it on top of here. And then we get some tape and we tape it closed. So here's how it looks from the inside. As you can see, the water isn't touching the top of the container. So that way when the mosquitoes do fly down in there, they get in there and they try to eat it and then they can't get out, they're getting stuck. All right, we are going to tape around the edge here to tape the two bottles together. For my own safety reason, I wanna tape across the top so that way when I pick it up or if kids come out and touch it or anything, they're not gonna hurt themselves on the sharp plastic. You don't have to do that. That is just something that I am going to do. And then once you're done with that, 
if you're wanting to hang it up in the tree or anything else, you can add little holes here and put any sort of wire or string or whatever to then hang it from your tree and you've got yourself a mosquito eradicator. We are all finished with our mosquito eradicators. Now just go around and put them around in your yard around 80 feet away from where you're going to be. So that way you're not attracting the mosquitoes to you, you're keeping them at a distance. Hope you guys learned something from our video. You can go out and make this and save yourself a lot of money. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.